getting it done. Beautiful day. Blessed to see another day. Thank God we woke up this morning to do it all over again, man. Let's get it. Yo, so I've been working for GFS for almost six years now. And this is the very first time where I've been in a trailer where they have the light switch for the trailer inside of the trailer. GFS. I've been saying this for a very long time to myself because the previous company I worked for in our trucks, we actually had a light switch inside of the trailer like this or inside of the truck in that particular uh, job. But to me, this is just my personal opinion. I think it's super convenient to have the switch or the button either or inside of the trailer as opposed to on the front of the trailer. It's just my opinion because what happens is these lights are timed. So when they go off, if you're not finished done with your delivery, you got to go walk back outside of the trailer and go around to the front and push the button. If it was like this inside of the trailer, you can just hit the switch and you don't have to get out of the trailer. To me, it just makes sense. Y'all let me know in the comment section. thing I don't like about this trailer is the fact that as you can see I don't have my plastic blinds don't have the plastic blinds on this trailer I know a lot of food service drivers like pushing them to the side or folding them up and all those sorts of things at GFS I was told by management you're not supposed to do that because I was doing it early on in my career and when I was told that, I just haven't been doing it anymore, which it makes sense because the plastic blinds help keep the cool air inside of the trailer as opposed to all the air just going out when you have the doors open. So it makes sense, right? And in this type of weather, being that it's so hot down here in the south or just pretty much almost everywhere this time of year, I like having those plastic blinds down because I want to keep as much cool air inside this trailer as possible. But that's just me. Oh, one more thing. Another reason drivers don't like the plastic blinds is basically those blinds start flapping everywhere when you're going down the ramp. If you get hit with one of those plastic flaps in the face or anything like that, <laughs> you're going to feel it. So I get it. driver I keep my little towel with me right here just to wipe the sweat off man it's hot 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 bro got a couple bananas right here good carbs for sustained energy a good pre-workout too got my seedless grapes right here so, you know, we got the fruit, we got the fruit on deck. And it's important to stay hydrated, man. Especially in this heat. Okay, so we done with that stop, we heading to the next stop. Oh, like I was saying about UPS drivers. I don't know if it's like that where you guys live, but where I live in Florida, most if not all UPS drivers that I see have a towel hanging somewhere around in their truck to wipe off all the sweat. You guys know they didn't have ACs in the trucks for a very long time. I know UPS recently did that new contract. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the initiatives was to get ACs in the truck. So hopefully they've done that because I know it's hot in those trucks. But shout out to all my UPS drivers, man. Listen, we get ready to head to the next stop. It is 636. 
we running really good on time right now i only have two more stops left and i'll be done for the day and uh yeah i'll let you guys when we get to the next stop let's get it see we made it to the hotel safe and sound man 8.4 miles per gallon one thing I could say about the Volvo the truck that I had prior to getting the Freightliner the Volvos have really good MPG really good on fuel definitely more fuel efficient than the Freightliner I literally could go most of the week when I had the Volvo before I had to put fuel back in the truck. Every time I get done with my route on the way back in, I either got to get fuel at the end or the following morning, the next time I have to run my route again. So, and I don't know about you guys, but I hate stopping to get fuel in the beginning of the route and at the end of the route too, but Lately, I've been getting fuel when I'm done on my second day heading back to the yard. I just stop by Love's and go ahead and fill it up so I don't have to worry about it the next time I have to run my route in the morning. So it's been working out fine. My coworker who runs a local route, he's still in the Volvo. He literally only has to fill up one time and he can go two weeks straight without having to Put fuel in the truck again that's just how good the volvos are on fuel but i digress man i still love the freight line don't get it twisted
right, gang. So now that I've made it to the hotel room, I'm getting ready to watch Beverly Hills Cop 4. After I take a shower, I'm just gonna kick back and relax, man. I actually started it a few days ago, but I never finished it. So I'm just gonna start it all the way off from the beginning so I can really pay attention to it. I was distracted because I was working on something the first time around. But I'm a huge Axel Foley fan, Beverly Hills Cop fan. So I gotta be focused on this movie, man. Let me know if you are a Beverly Hills Cop fan, which one is your favorite? One, two, three, or this is really the fourth installment right here. Number three was whack, so if you say number three, you don't really know nothing about movies. We just gonna we just gonna say that right now. Three was whack. One and two, you know, it's kinda a tossed up, but y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Yeah, this is what we getting ready to do, man. Classic Eddie. Classic Eddie. Along with trading places. What else? What else? Some of the classic. 48 hours. Another 48 hours with Nick Nolte. Classic Eddie. And oh yeah, coming to America. How could I how could I not think about that? Late 80s, early 90s movies. I mean we can go on and on and on about Eddie, man. Classic, classic, classic. So we're here, man. Made it to the end of the day. Had a pretty good day overall. Really can't complain, that's how I like it. Easy peasy. And we'll finish it all up tomorrow. We have one, two, three, three stops tomorrow. Should be a, a pretty good day, hopefully. We are gonna keep our fingers crossed. But that's what I'm hoping for, man. But I wanna make this video today to really let you guys know why I'm finally able to take a break from trucking. My daughter texted me right now. I'm gonna have to text her back in a few minutes. But I'm finally taking a break, man. We seven months into the year and I'm getting ready to go on my first vacation. Seven months into the year. I'm never waiting this long again to take a vacation. I'm like burnt out, tired. I don't recommend waiting this long, man. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess part of the reason at GFS, we can go into the negative with our PTO. And that's kind of what I did last year. Last year I was vacation happy. I was taking vacations <laughs> and I really, lost track of how much time I was using. And if you go into the negative, you basically have to get it back up to positive standings. And um, that's where we at now. I won't go into too much details about the PTO time. If you don't go into the negative, you cool, whatever, however much vacation you have for that year, you cool, you don't have to worry about nothing. But if you work for GFS, drivers specifically just because I'm talking to the drivers you know how it works so you know I paid for it early on I had to kind of wait a little bit let my time build back up and now uh, I got I think three more vacations planned this year after this one this one right here I'll be out basically two weeks so just about when I get off tomorrow, I don't come back until the 22nd. So I'm excited about that, man. I need a break, need to decompress and just clear my thoughts and get away from the, the routine of waking up early mornings, you know, one o'clock in the morning. And then on my second day, I wake up at about 11 o'clock at night so just not having to go through the routine and just chill that's what i'm looking forward to man looking forward to just chilling i'm not sure if i'm gonna go anywhere yet i probably am more more than likely saturday the 13th is my wife and i four year anniversary. So we probably gonna do something special for that. We had originally planned or 
we were supposed to make plans and then we had something else take place. So we kind of had to push back what we was going to do for our anniversary. So we haven't really figured it out yet, but we probably going to go somewhere. So, you know, I'm going to have to spend a little, spend a, spend a few dollars, go in the vault. You know what I'm saying? And um, treat, treat myself and treat us. Because I do plan on, you know, having a good time, man. So, you know, I can't invest every single dollar. I do want to enjoy life at the same time. So it's just all about having that balance. Saving and investing is extremely important, but also just living life and enjoying that, you know, and having those experience with your loved ones. That's also important. So, yeah, we so we're going to do something. We're going to do something have some fun man but yeah man i'm really looking forward to this vacation man it's much needed all of my co-workers around me most of them have already taken like two or three vacations and every time they take one especially my boy you probably gonna watch this video i think he probably had i think he probably had three already if i'm not mistaken and every time he go i'm like <laughs> Man, when am I gonna go? <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. Um, like most companies, we schedule our vacations at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year for the following year, one of the two. So, you know, we gotta have, we gotta already have that schedule. That way, management is on top of it and make sure everybody have the days that they want off covered, right? So, you know, it makes sense. I think most companies do it that way to where you have to schedule your vacations out way in advance. So, you know, it makes sense. But yeah, man, after this one, like I said, I think I got three more scheduled and they're gonna be like within the next couple months. I think my next one is gonna be in October, then I got another one in November, and then I got another one I think in December or something like that. So yeah. Don't wait too long to take your vacation, man. You need that rest, you need to like disconnect from trucking. Listen, I don't wanna hear nothing about GFS respectfully. Unless it's in the comment section on one of my videos, you guys can still hit me up. Y'all know I'm gonna be available. DM me, all that good stuff. I'm gonna still take care of y'all. Um, like I continue to do in my DM. Shout out to everybody that hit me up in my DM. And shout out to my guy that hit me yesterday, man. Hopefully that work out for you in the Orlando area. You know who you are, bro. Hopefully everything work out for you there. And I'm still gonna get back with you. Like I told you, um, sometime throughout the course of the day, I'll find out that information I was talking to you about yesterday. And then also before I get out of here, let me give two shout outs to some supporters out there, man. I don't think I've mentioned this one supporter on one of my previous videos. I don't think I mentioned this. So let me just add him to these shout outs. So two people I wanna give a shout out to. This first person, um, I met him it's probably been about three weeks ago. He actually pulled up on one of my coworkers thinking it was me. My coworker calls me up and is like, eh, hey, you got somebody looking for you. <laughs> uh, he said he was making a delivery and this other person who supports the channel was making a delivery. He's in food service too. He works for Benny Keith. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. I may have, but if I if I have, I'm saying it again because I can't remember. But he works for Benny Keith, and um, he ran over to my my coworker's truck. Thought it was me. Opened up the blinds and everything. And from what my coworker told me, and he was like, "Oh, I thought you was Anthony that got the YouTube channel." And my boy was like, "Nah, man. He like in New Orleans somewhere or something like that." But anyway, my boy called me. And I was like, bro, you should have just, you should have FaceTimed me. I would have hollered at him. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna call you right back and I'm gonna FaceTime you. So that's what he did. He FaceTimed me and he kind of walked over where the other guy was at. And um, we chopped it up, man, on FaceTime. So it was cool meeting him. Um, he said he'd been supporting the channel for a while. I believe he said I was the reason why he got his CDL and got into trucking. And he started off with, I want to say a beer company. 
or a beverage company, one of the two. And now he's doing food service. And I asked him, was he making more money in food service? He said, yeah, so with a big smile on his face. So shout out to him, man, if you watch this video. Also, somebody I met last week. Was it last week? No, it was this week, it was Wednesday. Wednesday of this week, I met somebody else who, uh, no, it was last week. Today is just Monday, I'm tripping. I met somebody else last Wednesday who's also in food service that's gonna be coming over to Gordon Food Service. I won't say the food service company he's working for right now because he's still with that company. And um, he won't be coming over to us until about, I think he said August or September, somewhere around there. But he's moving over to our location or in, our, in the area where I'm at. So he's gonna be working out of the location I work out of. So that's, that's kind of wild, um, but he said he's been following the channel for about two years. I won't say the company he's working for. I don't want to put that out there, but shout out to him, man. Seemed like a really good dude. It was a pleasure meeting him as well. And um, the the support is real, man. So shout out to each and every one of y'all, man, that support the channel. Bro, super cool from what I can see. And uh, it, was just, it was just great meeting him and everybody else that I meet out there in the field, man. Shout out to each and every one of y'all. But yeah, that's what it is, man. I'm gonna be taking a break. More than likely, you guys know I'm still probably gonna put out some content. Well, I'm, I don't wanna say probably. I'm still gonna put out some content while I'm on vacation, but I am gonna be chilling and relaxing. So that's what it is, man. And by the way, I know there's a hurricane out there. I think it's done, um, downgraded, but all my people in the Texas area, Houston, all of that. Last I seen yesterday, the projected path was heading towards that direction. So hopefully everybody is safe from that. Um, and then everybody who was in the path of Hurricane, I think it's Beryl. I know Jamaica got hit pretty hard and I can't remember um, the other place before that, but prayers out to everybody that was in the path of that storm. You know, it was a category five at one point early on and uh, it did a lot of damage, man. So prayers to everybody that was impacted by that storm. Hurricane season is, is really uh, just starting. So I live in Florida and you guys know how it is around the, around the Gulf Coast and all that. So um, hopefully it's not a bad hurricane season. Man. But anyway, um, that's what it is, guys. I appreciate the continued support of the channel, man. I couldn't do it without you guys. And I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for all the love and support. And I'm gonna continue to be here. I'm gonna continue to do this thing and hopefully continue to add value. And that's what it is. Look, I'm gonna get ready to get cleaned up, man. I'm tired, I gotta chop this video up. Do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, like the video, and until the next one, I'll catch y'all later, man. Y'all take care. Peace.